Numbers are in, and we're learning more about how much each candidate has raised heading into the final weeks of the 2024 election. And while a lot of that information is publicly available, some of it is not, as Christine Frizzell reports, is leading to new concerns about the power of dark money. The 2024 political campaign on track to become the costliest in history. The latest numbers, jaw-dropping. Kamala raised a billion dollars in three months. The world's richest person gave nearly $75 million to a pro-Trump PAC over the last three months. In these cases, Federal Election Commission filings like this show us where the money is coming from. In this case, Elon Musk's America PAC. But concerns are mounting over groups that may be shielding the donors behind the donations. What you might end up with is political candidates or potentially public office holders who are beholden to uh, people that we don't actually know. There's no transparency. Eric Eggers is author of the book Fraud, How the Left Plans to Steal the Next Election, and has been looking into the left-leaning group Act Blue, which does not require donors to provide their CVV, the security code on the back of credit cards. Money could be coming from foreign sources when the credit cards don't require that three or four digit CVV that helps identify the donor to the money. The Committee on House Administration now investigating Act Blue, raising concerns in a letter to the FEC, arguing Act Blue's donor procedures are painfully outside the norm and that its practices invite the possibility of foreign donations. Only American citizens should be contributing and voting in our elections. Concerns over dark money have been raised by the left as well. Most Democrats pushing for the overturning of Citizens United, the Supreme Court case which enabled corporations and wealthy donors to spend unlimited funds on elections. Billionaires in both parties should not be able to buy elections. Leading up to Election Day, expect to hear a lot more about who gave what. The question for many after is what those high-dollar donors will get in return, should their preferred candidates or causes win. I'm Christine Frizzau reporting.